Hello, I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Yana. We are happy to present our work at BRNDL at SIG IR. For this very short talk, we have a challenge to present in less than two minutes our k-means and hierarchical clustering method to improve our understanding of citation context. We know that references can be of different nature. For example, it could be descriptor of document content, Garfield, element in a sample making process, small, registration of intellectual property, Merton, Zuckerman, Codal Code, social and political pressure, Marvin and Irvin, and many others. To work around this issue, we focus exclusively on the linguistic pattern recognition and classification. We take into consideration the inward structures of the article. This allows us to distinguish between citations found in the different sections. Our previous work was based on the statistical study of context of citation. In this study is a part of a research program around citation context. According to Salem, in 19 86. Lexicometry consists of a whole series of methods which allow us to carry out formal reorganization of the textual sequence and statistical analysis of vocabulary from a segmentation. In this study, we use two methods, k-means and hierarchical clustering. The dataset, what we choose, consists of seven journals what published by PLOS in open access. The fact that the corpus is available in open access is important. It allows us to freely process the data and diffuse the results and participate in the reproductibility of science. The dataset contains around 80,000 research articles in a full text in XML JAS format. To determine the number of clusters, we apply the elbow method that allows us to interpret and validate the coherence in clusters. The first figure here shows the result of the elbow with the sum of the squared error. And the second figure to the right uses the Kalinsky criterion with interval for groups between 1 and 10. We can see here the result of the clustering using k-means with four clusters. The method section is located in a single cluster to the left. And this is true regardless of the journal. This confirms our previous studies around citation contexts and the IMRAD structure that underline the specific nature of the method section. We also see that the journal PLOS pathogens is in a separate cluster, in blue here, and the journal PLOS neglected tropical diseases and PLOS medicine uh, are both located in the same cluster, in green. Here we see the results from the hierarchical clustering. Again, we see that PLOS pathogens is in a separate subcluster in the third red box. And uh, we also see that PLOS computational biology is in a separate cluster in the last, last red box. And this suggests that the citation contexts in this journal are quite different from those in the other journal. As a conclusion, this paper provides new evidence on the structure of scientific papers by observing the patterns in the context of in-text citations and identifying the typology of citation context. Studying the structure of scientific papers and observing the regularities in the context of in-text citations is an important step towards understanding the phenomenon of citation, which is central in the process of building scientific knowledge. Thank you for your attention. And do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or comments. Goodbye. Goodbye.